Hi everyone. So I'm back again in the previous window. Or uh, we have created the this people process and uh, human task. We have designed this human task also by clicking on this human task and uh, going to the designing window of human task. So now we will be attaching our human task to our people. Okay. So after attaching, as you can see, till now we have uh, gone through the designing window of human task, but we have not entered into the designing window of our people. So now we will be double clicking on the people. So here is the designing window of people. So now as you can see, one partner link is created. This is our human task which we have designed. But see in the people we are getting the input what was our input input was order id order name and order amount okay and order status was the output but in between before processing human task should come into the picture till now we have only designed the human task but after connection okay we need to assign this human task between input and output so that it will come into the picture with the people so just go to the soa components click on human task and drag and drop to this plus sign now our human task is coming between uh, the input and output now again double click on it so here is the task definition as we have already defined our human task so it will come here for sure this is the one now people variable now why it is coming because whatever is the input variable people variable it will be coming to the human task so what is our people variable just click here these are our uh, it is coming from our schema only okay so just click on payload see order id order name and order, order amount so we can click on request okay and press apply and okay see now this window has got changed what is happening is whatever was the input it got assigned to the human task now human activity comes to the picture if you will approve what should go to the output if you will reject what should go to the output and else what should go to the output from where this approve and reject are coming actually while designing our human task okay we have given only two outcomes only approve and reject that is why it is coming this else part is not required so just click on it and delete it yeah now what we want to send to the output if human approves our order so just double click on it just delete this connection okay so this is the output variable just click this is the order status what we want to send to the order status is if human approve then its status should be approved if human reject then its status should be reject so how to do that go to the system attributes in the system attributes you will get something called a task outcome this task outcome you need to assign to order status just apply and ok same scenario for here if you will reject reject should go as a order status so just delete it first this is your output order status here same condition go to the system attributes here you will find your task outcome just assign your task outcome to the order status apply and ok so this is the complete design once again i'll describe see whatever was the input it came to the human okay to the human task this is completely human task only so in the human task if human will approve what should go to the output if human reject what should go to the output this is what we have designed in this window okay so as of now i'll click on save all okay as you can see there is no error so this is done basically we can save it and close it okay so this is how we can design a human task uh, composite with the help of people okay so now the time to deploy our project in my case the server is already running so i can directly deploy in your case you need to first run the server and basically before running the server your user itself will not come okay so this is the project we created human task uh, sorry this is the form name okay this is the project hut uh, prj okay so i'll be clicking it and uh, just go to deploy and this one deploy to application server revision id let's say one override any composite with the same revision id 
this next okay this i need to select and uh, deploy to specific composite revision and partition and override any existing application if it is there and click on next integrated web logic server only it will check if the server is running or not it will show the details also so as you can see my default server is running so i'll be clicking on next and finish so now it will deploy our composite to the web logic server window will come where you need to select the repository which will be your mds soa and the partition will be soa infra so just click on deploy again this process will take some time so basically all the time i'm fast forwarding the uh, this video so don't think that uh, how it's happening in a very fast manner so after deploying your uh, composite now you need to go to em console to test your uh, composite okay so this is my em, EM compose uh, console sorry i have already opened it just click on soa here you need to go to soa infra default and this is our project okay so just double click on it okay so here we can test our web service just click on test okay so in this window you need to click on payload and see these are our inputs okay so order id let's say one two order name let's suppose there's a pen order amount let's suppose two thousand it's a very costly pen uh, go to test web service Okay, here you need to click on launch flow trace. So you will come to know the current status. Okay, so here you can see it was your people. It is com sorry. It was your service. It got completed, but your human task people is still running because once the human will approve or reject, then only it will be completed. Now, how to go to user form from where user can approve? So that is a bpm worklist actually now how to go to bpm worklist uh, that i'll show you so just close this window okay so i have copied the url actually so in this manner you can go to the bpm worklist from where your user can log in now how to give the host name and all i'll let you know this is the host name and port number so basically go to your project this was our, this was our project so double click on it here uh, uh, here go to your human task here you can see this is my host name so in the host name i'll be giving this and this is my port number Just press enter. So manager is already username is there. Password is uh, I'm not sure this is the password or not. Yeah, this is the correct one. See here he got a uh, action. Okay, so once you will click on it, see it is showing you the details. Order ID is 12, order name is pen, order amount is 2000. So either he can approve or reject. So once he will approve, okay. So this is how your project got completed, okay. So now the only thing left is how to create the user, okay. So that I'll show you, okay. So for creating the user, what you need to do is go to your console. In console, you can see this security realms. Okay, click on this. Here, click on my realms. Here, you will find users and groups. Just click on it. Okay, so this is how I created the manager user. You just click on new. Name of the user. Let's suppose test. Description, leave it. Password. Let's say weblogic only. Weblogic1. Confirm your password of logic one and press ok so it will show your user is created successfully you can save the password also